Well, okay, hey guys, how's everybody doing today? You know, there is an, um, hmm. What do I want to say that makes everybody... Give me a second here. Good, good morning, good afternoon, depends on what part of the globe you're at. How are you guys doing today? There, there is an important concept that I think we get overshadowed. Grand Rising, guys, Grand Rising. There's an important concept that gets overshadowed. Welcome, guys. You guys see you again. Remember, school starts. You can sign up for my new school membership platform. Access to things you won't see on here, my products, the books, ebooks, all of you access for you freely, subliminals I have, money magnet, lottery subliminals, video, access to all the members, once a week, Zoom call, access to me, to talk to me, to teach you how to manifest your, your issues, anything, we have a once a week coaching group call, take advantage of that, invest in yourself, I know you can see me on the TikTok and the YouTube, and I help but the personal interaction is way beneficial because everyone has a, per a personal unique situation that they can uh, need help with and manifest. So it's always good to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction. You get that when you sign up for my group membership course, school. I'll put it in the link below. You can all join a like-minded community. Everyone help each other to manifest anything you want. Look, all right, so look. Here's an important concept that we get high that we all get overlooked. You know the thing is, we, there's so many methods and techniques when it comes to manifesting, right? There's so many avenues we all can take, right, to manifest. There's so many. You, you get you get the drift. You get you get the drift. But look, here's something I just want to remind you, okay? That despite of everything that you're doing. Whatever, I don't care, whatever you're doing, okay, it will not reach success unless you believe. Beliefs are the rules to your life. Beliefs are the rules to the game. Everything come into existence because of our belief. You believe in yourself, believe what you want is out there, make it up in your head, Believe it's possible. Trick yourself. Fool your mind. I mean, whatever, however you want to do it, man. You have to have a belief. All, all, all a belief is, people, is just something you make up in your head that says that's what you are and that's what you want. It's something that you see around your world that you convince yourself is true or not true. That's a, what's, that's a belief, man. A belief is, is something that you can change instantly it's not a, it's only the beliefs only get stuck if you make it stuck for example i'll give you i'll show you something powerful when you, if you if you're a person that you're believing that you don't have luck and you're not good at something you've just made that belief stick what what means is that belief sticks now your subconscious is always I'm gonna turn off this notification mm -hmm. Your subconscious will always show you stuck things in your life. I'm going to show you something powerful. You see, the thing is, you're always looking for evidence in your regular mind of a belief. So, like, for example, the thing with the stuck, you know, you don't feel like you got, you're good at finances or money or love or whatever it is in your life. You feel you're just not good at it. Your mind is going to look for evidence and show you the reason why you're not good at it. So yeah, I get it, man. It's going to be hard for you to just say, man, I can't change that belief to I'm lucky in money, I'm lucky in love, I'm lucky in health. Um, because all I see around me is the opposite. I see I'm unlucky in this, I'm unlucky in that. So you're telling me I could switch it like that? Yeah, the voice that's telling you you can't do that is your conscious mind. And see what happens, what, what prevents you from doing a simple, easy method is because it's too simple. It's too easy. You're like, no, nah, I can't work like that. I can't just literally sit here and just say, okay, for the past two years, you know my situation, I've been like, not good at getting money or jobs or anything like that. 
and I'm not lucky in love, I'm not lucky in winning the lottery, I'm not lucky in anything, or whatever, well, I mean, I don't care, whatever it is. And you say, man, this has been like this for the past two years. I just can't go and just say, I am lucky in the money, I'm lucky in the lottery, I always win, I'm always better, I think good things are working in my favor. Life doesn't work like that, man. That's, that's what you're saying to yourself. But guess what? It does work like that. Have you ever tried it? I would use the word tried it. You have never tried it before. The ones who succeed are the ones that do this. Listen, the simplest things, the easiest complex things are the simplest things to manifest. Okay? So change your belief about that. Okay, if you want further proof of this stuff, let me sh let me give you some proof that may shock you. This this is going to this is going to be hmm. So right now our best evidence and science we have Okay? Can you tell me a sentence to manifest change in my belief in love and finances? Yes. Ask formations. Very simple. Why am I so lucky in love and finances? Why do I consistently attract the right people, the right places to bring me financial prosperity and love? That's, that's, a, that's a belief, man. A belief is something you say over and over again. <laughs> And the more you say it, the more you believe it. It's called brainwashing yourself. They call it brainwashing. You've been you we you have, you all have been brainwashed. Every day you turn on the news, the social media, they're repeating, they're pushing stuff in your head. That's called brainwash. That they're, they're, they're changing your belief for you. They're making you believe in something that you didn't choose to believe. This happened to you when you were a kid, man. Uh, you, listen, even your name is a belief. That's not you. Your personality, your age. Your gender, your all of that, man, is, is something that's made up. It's a belief. But look, I want to show you something that, that may take this to the next level. So the best, the best theory we have, or the best evidence and science we have of how, the, how things work in our world is quantum mechanics, right? Quantum physics. But guess what? What if I told you that even quantum physics is a belief? Even when we observe it, it works in our life. It's because we believe it. Can you believe that? Now let me, let me show you something deeper now. What creates all of this is our consciousness, the awareness, right? So even the universe, the multiverse, the parallel reality, even space, even time are all not even actually here. Even quantum mechanics is not even real. It's not even here. It's all just made up in a simulation of our beliefs. Our consciousness created it. So there's something beyond all of this. Okay? See how that works? It only comes into existence because of our, we are observing it. What we observe, we create, attract, manipulate, and becomes our physical experience. Do I do you do do I do the 369 method? I don't need to do the 369 method. You don't need to do 369 method. Again, it's a belief. You believe, go ahead, do the 369 method. If you have a lot of time to write three times, six times, three times, that's up to you. But there's all there's the natural easiest way to manifest anything is to create an intention, to use the an affirmation, to visualize to visualize the process and to let it go. Because you're gonna impress your subconscious mind. There there in life. There are easy ways to do things, and there are hard ways to do things. Guys, we overcomplicate the process, simply. We make something bigger and complicated than it actually is. All of this is just a makeup world, makeup ideas, makeup everything. You can go make up your own world, your own idea, your own beliefs, and I got news for you. They will become your physical experiences. They will become your world. So my, so why don't you go ahead and make up beliefs that serve you, man? Why don't you go up and make, yeah, does someone say life is easy? Why don't you go do that? Why, if, if, if you get up every day and you're living a tough life and your life is hell and all that stuff, and if you get up tomorrow and you just say, screw this, I got nothing else to lose. I'm going to try this thing this guy has been showing, this guy on YouTube sitting in his car has been telling people. Let me try this. Why is my, and all you got to say is, 
Here's how you say it now. You don't say life is easy. You say, why is my life so easy and effortless? Why do good things consistently come to me? If you just say those, just I'll give you two affirmations right there, man. I just gave you that's two million dollar tickets right there. And if you say them every day, once in the morning, sometime in the afternoon, okay? And you just start to just think a little positive and start to just see like things going your way. I can guarantee you within just two weeks of doing that, your life will be better than the last two years ever, 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 ever. How can I make that claim? Well, you, you see guys, you can make claims when you know how the system works. Like a mechanic, he can tell you what is wrong with your car and how to fix it. He can make that claim because he is a specialist in that. He was trained in motors and engines and all that. A regular person coming on the street can't make that claim to you. Say, well, your car is this, man. Your car got to fix it. But he's not a mechanic. You say, are you a mechanic? Uh, so how can you make that claim? So I can make that claim because of my experience. You see, when you can, you, you make claims based on your experiences. It's your experience. Like if you win the lotto and you, someone says, and you're telling someone how to win the lottery to do it with their mind, the first thing they're gonna ask you is have you won the lottery? If you say yes, your claim is invalidated. Say, well, no, I haven't won the lottery, but I know the techniques to win it. I have known, da, da, da. I know the tools, you know, I've read a lot of stuff. Your claim won't be validated that much. But if you're someone who knows this, then you know, it'll be valid. So what I'm gonna show you is something simple. I mean, you don't even have to, you know, hmm, let me put this one, put this here. All you have to do is just go for it and see what, see what happens. You got nothing to lose. But let me tell you, okay, let me go ahead and, and tell you what happens if you start doing that. When I say, you know, change your beliefs and say, you know, why is my life so easy? Why are things just working in my favor? And you do that for two weeks. So let me show you what's gonna happen at the mental level, brain level of this stuff. So let me show you what happens. So you see that your, our brain, right? Our brain is constantly talking to each other through neurons. They're constantly sending communication. The brain loves, the, your brain always wants to be adaptable. The brain thrives on consistent learning and changing. You know, your brain don't want to be in one way. Your, way. your brain always wants to be changing. So whenever you're doing that, what happens now, your brain is seeing a new, what is called a new neural pathway. Because the old pathway is stuck in there. The one of I'm not good enough, I can't struggle. Blah, blah. So now, when the brain, when you start to do something new, the brain gets excited. Because the brain is saying, oh man, we got, oh, finally some work. We're gonna, we're gonna switch, let's, let's activate. Let's start creating neuroplasticity. So that's the first good thing gonna happen there, right? And you know, neuroplasticity, if you put it in a, in, a, in a good direction, you're gonna get a lot of side benefits with that. You're gonna get more um, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin. You're gonna to start to feel a little bit better. But that's just, the, that's, just the, that's just the tip of the iceberg, as they say. That's just the tip of the iceberg. The main course comes now from the unconscious mind. The part of the mind that you cannot perceive consciously. It's running the show for you. It's, it's controlling your heart rate, your metabolic state. It doesn't sleep like your regular mind does. If it sleeps, we're, we're all, we'll all be dead. Because if it takes time off, your heart will stop beating, we'll stop breathing. So your subconscious is 24-7, 365 days. Your regular mind does sleep at night when you sleep, but your subconscious is 24-7. So all right, so that part of the mind there, that's called the unconscious mind. Housed in the unconscious mind is all the knowledge and information that you cannot access in the conscious mind because it's infinite. And the unconscious mind, it holds your biggest dreams, your desires, everything is possible there. And what it does, it takes everything that you dream and desire and it makes it possible in the physical real world for you. The reason why it does that, because in that part of the mind, it cannot, logic cannot exist there. It doesn't exist in logic, right? That's why you, that's why you have your conscious mind for logic. Your subconscious doesn't operate in logic. It operates in, I, it's what you see the most and what you believe. See, see that? 
what you see the most, when I talk about what you see the most in your head and also what you expose yourself to outside, that becomes a belief. So let me show you now. So let's say you start doing this little experiment here for a couple weeks and you're doing it. The first thing you want to notice, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen to you. So you can test it, test me and come back and write it and tell me if I'm wrong or what. But I'm going to tell you the first thing that's going to happen. The first thing that's going to happen when you start to do this is people around you are going to start to act different. That's the first thing. The people you interact with. They're going to either start to tell you something's different about you, what has changed, or they're going to start to do things to you or for you to make you better at whatever it is that you said. That's the first thing guaranteed that's going to happen. The next thing that's going to happen is you're going to start to see a lot of numbers, the synchronicity part of it, the signs. Okay? After that, the next thing that's going to happen is your feeling, how you feel about yourself. You're gonna start to feel different. You're gonna to start to feel more confident. Now, imagine that. That comes from the unconscious mind, okay? Now, when you put all those three things together, what are you gonna get? Your life changes. Life change. That's how, that's like, your life's gonna change now. And then, okay, so you say, man, okay, this stuff working, I'll keep doing it again and again and again. It's gonna happen again and again. So I don't care whatever it is that you're doing, if you don't believe or trick yourself into believing it, it ain't gonna work. I, I have to use the word trick because that's the only way you're gonna get you're gonna get this. Because someone may say I'm not gonna, but I'm tricking my mind. It's not gonna work, guys. I, I gotta say this again. Your subconscious is open. It doesn't care whether you trick it, whether you brainwash it, whether you get delusional with it. It don't care. It, it really doesn't care because there's nothing it cannot create. It's, 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 a, it's an illogical mind, man. It's, it's, if I didn't, if I, I'll just put it to language. If I didn't trick my subconscious mind to make me win the, the Florida Fantasy Five lottery to go buy a car cash, a BMW M3 car cash, you know what it, it happened? It, that exactly happened. I tricked it. And again, I won the lottery and I bought the car cash. Then I tricked it again and then I won more lottery again and I bought stuff again. I bought stuff again and I keep book. I win and win and win. So, I'm here to tell you this stuff is true, it's real. Everything is a, is a game in there, man. It's just, there's, there's nothing um, logical in there. That's all in the other mind. I, I kind of stay out, I kind of stay away from that part of the mind, you know? I use that part of the mind to make decisions and to create, you know, organize stuff I need to do and, and to create the desire and, you know, to put a positive image for it. But that's all I, that's all I do in my conscious mind. I leave everything else out. I leave the, the chatter, the negative talk it comes up with, the doubt. And all. I, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of them. I hear them. But it's just like me. It's like me. It's like, it's like background noise to me now. That's all this background noise. I'm not even paying attention to it anymore because I already know the game. As they say, the game is up. I already know the game or that stuff. So I don't let that bother me. or enter It's entertainment now to me. I Sometimes I even laugh at it, you know? I'm like, man, don't you ever get tired? Talk to it just like I said. Don't you ever get tired of just running the same play? <laughs> it's not working. So, but that's what you got to do. Your life is built on your beliefs, man. So that's the, that's the thing you got to understand. So you got to remember. Yes, the school community. You can get into the school community. That's my community. Where I teach you more of this stuff, deeper levels, we get to interact. I put in the link below. But you cannot manifest anything in your life until you believe it, guys. That's it. That's what I want to leave you guys with today. And I will see you guys again next time.